and going down this rabbit trail and misleading people and thinking and, and leading them to believe that the law is not important, we need to look at the law of God as God's instruction manual. Now in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, it says this, And it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. Are we set on high above all nations of the earth today? No, we're not. No, we have allowed the stranger to take over. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, verse 2, And all these black... Now, if you do this, if you listen to my law, if you keep my law, all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You know, you would think, okay, blessings is, is what everybody wants. We all want our blessings, do we not? Yeah, we do. But a lot of people will look at this, well, what law? Is it the moral law? Is it the sanitary laws? Is it, is, it, is it the cultural laws? Is it the sacrificial laws? You know, again, if we could just look at the Bible as God's instruction book, and forget about trying to make all the distinctions between what do I want to keep and what do I not want to keep? Because I already know what you don't want to do. You don't want to do anything. As far as if you call yourself a Christian, you, you, the Bible, you know, you, just, you want to get by. It's like, God, what's the least I can get by with and still call myself a Christian? I know I'll go to church. And that's big good enough right there. I'm going to church. Yeah. What's the least I can get by and call myself a Christian? So let's pull out some laws out of the Bible and just ask, are they relevant? Exodus 21 verse 33. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit and not cover it, and an ox or an ass falls therein, the owner of the pit shall make it good and give money to, unto the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. You know, this is a law against, <coughs> excuse me, neglect. Now, is this a good law or is it a bad law? You know, should we keep it? Should we not keep it? It's definitely old covenant. Should we keep this law today? Or should we just go around being neglectful and digging pits and allowing people and animals to fall into it and break their necks? Yeah, it's interesting. I do construction work, and you know that a lot of times there'll be a pit dug, and it'll be a fence around it. You know, and I don't, even, I don't even know if these people call themselves Christians who do this, but it's part of the building code. This law is actually part of our building codes that are built into our system as a society to keep people safe, to keep the bum off the street from falling into the pit. Okay. Now, you know, if you bought a new car, you know, and you buy a new car, and new cars come with instruction manuals, you know, that tell you how everything works. Would you, would you take off, you know, out of the parking lot and just grab that instruction manual and just sling it out as you pulled off the lot and said, well, that's, you know, that's old covenant. That's, uh, I don't, don't need that. You know, I, I, I don't need any of that stuff. I don't need an instruction manual. Well, how, how stupid can you be and still breathe? I mean, why, why would you do that? Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.